yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Make it all right, Lord. Make it all right for us, Lord. Yes. So once again, Lord, make it all right. Please, Lord, please. Good afternoon. Welcome to another virtual Bible study of the Hour of Happiness Baptist Church. Located here in Northeast Washington, D.C., where our pastor is Bishop Calvin L. Matthews. Yes. We love you, Pastor. We love your family. We love the family of the Hour of Happiness Baptist Church. And we love all of God's children throughout this world. Because it's God that made us and not be ourselves. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior Jesus, we, Lord, come before you right now to thank you, Lord, for your love. We thank you for your grace and for your mercy, Lord. Lord God, we thank you for taking our place in sin and dying on the cross for us that we may have a right to the tree of life. We pray that your spirit will be will come and minister to us right now, Lord. What we should know about the word that we are keeping in our hearts, Lord, and sin not against you, Lord, but to go out and let your light shine through us that others may see it and call on you to be saved, Lord. And the ones that know you will have a deeper relationship with you, Lord God. Lord God, we ask you this prayer that you'll get all the glory for all the things you have done. Because all the glory belongs to you, Lord God. We ask you this prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. <clears throat> this week, the Lord allowed us to be in the book of Acts, chapter 22. We thank God for allowing us to finish up chapter 21 where Paul um, where, um, had received permission from the Roman, from the centurion commander of the Roman soldiers on his way to jail to speak to the uh, crowd there. Yes, as he was going up the steps in, at the end of chapter 21 of the book of Acts, Paul got permission from the commander to speak to the crowd and um, and that leads us right here to where we are today Acts chapter 22 and I have the NIV version of the Bible in front of me and I ask you to bear with me as I read it this Acts chapter 22 verse Acts chapter 22 verse 1 reads of the NIV reads Let's listen to Paul speaking to the crowd. Listen to Paul, what Paul had to say to the crowd. Verse 1 reads, Brothers and fathers, listen now to my defense. When they heard him speak in Arabic, they became very quiet. Then Paul said, I am a Jew, born in Tarsus or Sicilia, but brought up in this, in this city. I studied under Gamaliel and was thoroughly trained in the new was was thoroughly trained in the law of our ancestors. I was just as zealous for God as you are today. I persecuted the followers of this way to their death, arresting both men and women and throwing them into prison as the high priests and all the council can themselves testify. I even obtained letters from them to their to I, I, I even obtained letters from them to their associates in Damascus and went there to bring these people as prisoners to Jerusalem to be punished. About noon, as I as I was near Damascus, suddenly a bright light from heaven flashed around me. I fell to the ground and heard a voice say to me, Saul, Saul, 
Why do you persecute me? Who are you, Lord, I ask? I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom you are persecuting, he replied. My, my companions saw the light, but they did not understand the voice of him who was speaking to me. What shall I do, Lord, I ask? Give up, the Lord. Get up, get up, the Lord said. And go into Damascus. There you will be told all that you have been assigned to do. My companions led me by the hand into Damascus because the brilliance of the light had blinded me. A man named Ananias came to see me and was a came to see me. He was a devout observer of the law and highly respected by all the groups by all the Jews living there. He, he stood beside me and said, Brother Saul, receive your sight. At that very moment, I was able to see him. Then he said, the God of our ancestors has chosen you to know his will and to see the righteous one and to hear words from his mouth. You will be his witness to all people of what you have seen and heard. And now, what are you waiting for? Get up. Be baptized and wash, and wash your sins away, calling on his name. When I returned to Jerusalem, I was praying at the temple. I fell into a trance and saw the Lord speaking to me. Quick, he said. Leave Jerusalem immediately, because the people here will not accept your testimony of me. Lord, Lord, I replied, these people know that I went from one synagogue to another to imprison and beat those people who believe in you. And when the blood of your martyr Stephen was shed, I stood there giving my approval and guarding the clothes of those who were killing him. Then the Lord said to me, Go, I will send you far away to the Gentiles. Let's hold up right there for a few seconds. We'll talk about that a little bit. Okay. Paul. Paul decided to tell his story when he got permission from the uh, commanders of the Roman soldiers. He decided to tell the story. He told it in a, in a simplistic and skillful way. He, he got the attention of the people because he spoke in their language, their uh, Arabic or Hebrew language, and called them brothers and fathers. Two, 22 years earlier, Paul had Stephen begin, Paul heard Stephen begin his, his speech with the same words back in Acts chapter chapter 7 verse 2. It's still there. Look it up. It's still right there. Acts chapter 7 verse 2. Okay. And Paul introduced himself as a Jew who was born in Tarsus. He studied under Gamaliel and Gamaliel was, was a most honorable rabbi of the first century. He was well known and respected as, a, as an expert of, re, of religious law. It's Gamia. And Paul also told them how he persecuted the believers. He held the coats of Stephen. Yes, Stephen, one of the first deacons that was chosen. One of the first seven deacons that was chosen. Yes, he uh, uh, held the coats while Stephen was being stoned. And, um, and, and, and then... He had an encounter with Jesus on the way to Damascus, bro, on the Damascus road. Yes, Paul had an encounter with Jesus on the Damascus road. Uh, uh, and what a difference an encounter with Jesus can make. Let me say that again. What a difference an encounter with Jesus will make in your life. Paul was converted, baptized, and received God's call to take his gospel to the Gentiles. 
Oh, let me say that again. Paul was converted. When he encountered with Jesus, he was converted, baptized, and received God's call. Yes, Paul received God's call to take his gospel to the Gentiles. Amen. Now, we're down at verse 22. Let me read that. The crowd listened to Paul until he the crowd listened to Paul until he said this. Then they raised their voices and shouted, Rid the earth of him. He's not fit to live. As they were shouting and throwing off their coats and flinging dust into the into the air, the commander ordered that Paul be taken into the barracks. He, he directed that he be flogged and interrogated in, in order to find out why the people were shouting at him this way. As they stretched him out to be flogged, Paul said to the centurion standing there, Is it legal? Is it legal for you to flog a Roman citizen who hasn't even been found guilty? When the, when the centurion heard this, he went to the commander and reported, what are, what are you going to do? He asked. This man is a Roman citizen. The commander went to Paul and asked, tell me, are you a Roman citizen? Yes, I am. He answered, then the Roman, then the commander said, I had to pay a lot of money for my citizenship, but, but I was born a citizen, Paul replied. Those who were about to interrogate him withdrew immediately. The commander found himself was alone and he realized that he had put Paul, a Roman citizen, in chains. Mercy. Let me pause right there for a couple more seconds. Go over there a little bit. The crowd was impressed by Paul, pedigree, and zeal. Okay. But when the crowd heard Paul say he was going to spread the gospel to the Gentiles, they got angry and called for his death. The commander ordered that Paul be taken back to the barracks and be flogged and interrogated to get at the truth. Paul stopped them by, st by stating that he was a Roman citizen. And at that time, it was illegal for a Roman citizen to be tortured or without a trial. Paul was born a, a Roman citizen and, command and the commander had to buy an official to get his Roman citizenship. All right? Paul was born one, the commander had to buy his. Okay. Verse 30 reads. Verse 30. The commander wanted to find out exactly why Paul was being accused by the Jews. So the next day he released him and ordered the chief priests and all the members of the Sahedrin assembly to assemble. Then he brought Paul and had him stand before them. Amen. Amen. That, that, that was a short chapter. It, it ends with verse 30 right there. But the next day, let me speak on that. The next day the commander called in the Jewish council, as, it, as we read, the Sahedrin. That's the Jewish council. And, and um, he was interested in what they had against Paul. What they had said, he was, yes. He was interested in what they had said against Paul. Yes, he was. And the Lord wills, the Lord God wills, next week we will read what Paul said to the Sahedrin. Okay, this week we read what he said to the crowd that was talking to kill, that was shouting out to kill him. Next week we can hear what Paul says to the Sahedrin. Okay? Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we thank you once again, Lord. Lord God, we cannot thank you enough. Because Lord God, it's you that take care of us. 
It's you that give us the shelter. It's you that provide for us. It's you that give us clothing, food, and healing, Lord. It's you that take care of us, Lord, and we thank you, Lord. We thank you. We just cannot thank you enough, Lord, for each day to show our thanks we will sing your praise. We will talk about your praise. We will live for you that others may see, Lord. Lord God, we ask you to stay with us, lead us, and guide us in the way that we should go. Help us, Lord, when we fall into to divers temptations. Just help us, Lord, all along the way, and we know everything will be all right. Because we have you, Lord, and it's you that made us. We are your people, Lord, and we love you and we praise you, and you get all the glory from us, Lord. Use us as your vessel. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yes. Help us, Lord. Yes. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Make it all right, Lord. Yes. Yes. No weapon formed against me to prosper. We have you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Glory to your hands, Lord. 